Hi everyone, it is time to read Daily Jesus. We just finished to read the Gospel of Luke last week. Today we will read the Gospel of John. The author of, of the Gospel of John is John, who is a disciple of Jesus. A disciple, John describes as one of his disciples whom Jesus loved in chapter 13 and 19. Also, John was in a cousin relationship with Jesus. There are different characteristics between the Gospel of John and other Gospels. It contains what the Gospel of Matthew, Mark and the Luke did not deal with. In particular, the seven miracles shown by Jesus are expressed as signs and it represents who Jesus is through these seven miracles. The Gospel of John does not begin with the birth or genealogy of Jesus. Instead, it focuses on explaining who Jesus was and why he had to come. Then, let's read together. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of man. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to bear witness about the light that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to bear witness about the light. The true light, which gives light to everyone, was coming into the Word. He was in the, in the Word, and the Word was made through him, yet the Word did not know him. He came, he came to his own, and his own people did not receive him, but to all who did receive him. Who believes in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have seen his glory, glory as of the only Son, from the Father, full of grace and truth. John bore witness about him and cries out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks before me, because he was before me. For from his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. For the law was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only God, who is the Father's side, he has made him known. Verse 19. And this is, the, this is is the testimony of John. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem and to ask him, Who are you? He confessed and did not deny, but confessed. I am not the Christ. And they asked him, What then? Are you Eliza? He said. I am not. Are you the prophet? And he answered, No. So they said to him, Who are you? We need to give an answer to those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. Now they had been sent from the Pharisees. They asked him, Then why are you baptizing if you are neither the Christ, nor Eliza, nor the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but among you stands one you do not know. Even he who comes after me, the strap of whose sandal I am not worthy to untie. These things took place in Bethany across the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The next day, he was Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. 
This is he of whom I said, After me comes a man who ranks before me, because he was before me. I myself did not know him, but for this purpose I came baptizing with water, that he might be revealed to Israel. And John bore witness, I saw the Spirit descend from heaven like a dove, and it remain, remained on him. I myself did not know him, but he who sent me to baptize with water said to, he, said to me, He on whom you see the Spirit descend and remain, this is he who baptized with the Holy Spirit. And I have seen and I have borne witness that this is the Son of God. The next day again, John was standing with two of his disciples. And he took, he looked at Jesus as he walked by the set and said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him say this, and they followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following and said to him, What are you seeking? And they said to him, Rabbi, which means teacher. Where are you staying? He said to them, Come and you will see. So they came and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day. For it was about the tenth hour. One of the two who heard John speak and followed Jesus was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his own brother Simon and said to him, we have found the Messiah, which means Christ. He brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You shall be called Cephas, which means Peter. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethesda, Bethesda uh, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him of whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said to him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered me, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus answered him, Because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe? You will see greater things than those. And he said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the, and the angels of God descend and descending, ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Chapter 2 on the third day, there was a wedding at Cana in Galilee. And the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus also was invited to the wedding with, the disciple, with his disciples. When the wine ran out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what does this have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servant, do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding twenty and thirty golden. Jesus said to the servants, Fill the jars with the water, and they filled them up to the brim. And he said to, her, said to them, now draw some out and take it to the master of the feast. So they took it. When the master of the feast tasted, the water now become wine, and did not know where it came from. 
though the servants who had drawn the water knew. The master of the feast called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first, and then people have drunk freely, then the poor wine. But you have kept the good wine until now. This the first of his signs Jesus did not come. At Cana in Galilee, and manifest his glory, and his disciples believed in him. After he this is this he went down to Capernaum with his mother and his brothers, and his disciples, and they stayed there for a few days. The Passover of the Jews was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple, he found those who were selling oxen and sheep and the pigeons, and the money changers sitting there, and making a whip of cord. He drove them all out of the temple, with the sheep and oxen, and he poured out the coin of the money changers and overturned their tables. And he told those who sold the pigeons, "Take these things away." Do not make my father's house a house of trade. His disciple remained, remembered that it was written, "Zeal for your house will consume me." So the Jews said to him, "What sign do you show us for doing these things?" Jesus answered them, "Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up." The Jews then said. It has taken forty-six years to build this temple, and will you raise it up in three days? But he answered, he was speaking about the temple of his body. When therefore he was raised from the dead, his disciple remembered that he had said this, and they believed the scripture and the word that Jesus had spoken. Now, when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover feast. Many believed in his name when they saw the signs that he was doing. But Jesus, on his part, did not entrust himself to them, because he knew all people, and needed no one to bear witness about man, for he himself knew what he was hidden man. Chapter three. Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus. A ruler of the Jews, this man come, came to Jesus by night and said to him, "Rabbi, we know what you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him." Jesus answered him, "Truly, truly, I said to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God." Nicodemus said to him, "How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born?" Jesus answered, "Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, can, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which, me, which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit." Do not marvel that I have said to you, you must be born again. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear its sound, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus said to him, "How can these things be?" Jesus answered him, "Are you the teacher of Israel, and yet you do not understand these things? Truly, truly, I say to you, say to you, we speak of what we know and bear witness to what we have seen, but you do not receive our testimony. If I have told you earthly things and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you heavenly things?" No one has ascended into heaven except he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And as Moses lifted up 
the servant in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him many may have eternal life. But God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. But God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him, in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe in condemned believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the judgment. The light has come, come into the world, and people love the darkness rather than the light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things has hates the light and does not come to the light, lest his works should be exposed. But whoever does what is true comes to the light, so that it may be clearly seen that his works have been carried out in God. After this, Jesus and his disciples were into the Judean countryside, and he remained there with them and was baptizing. John also was baptizing at Enon near Salim because water was plentiful there and people were coming and being baptized. But John had not yet been put in prison. Now discussion arose between some of John's disciples and the Jew over purification. And they came to John and said to him, Rabbi, he who was with you across the Jordan, to whom you bore witness. Look, he is baptizing, and all are going to him. John answered, A person cannot receive even one thing unless it is given him from heaven. You yourselves bear me witness that I said, I am not the Christ, but I have been sent before him. The one who has the bride is the bridesmaid, bridegroom. The friends of the bridegroom who stands and bear him rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. Therefore, this joy of mine is now complete. He must increase, but I must decrease. He who comes from above is above all. He who is of the earth belongs to the earth and speaks in earthly things, earthly ways. He who comes from heaven is above all. He bears witness to what he has seen and heard, yet no one receives his testimony. Whoever receives his testimony sets his seal to this, that God is true. For he whom God has sent out is the word of God. For he gave the spirit without measure. The Father loves the Son and has given all things into his hand. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever does not obey the Son shall not see life. But the wealth of God remains on him. Chapter 4 now when Jesus learned that the Pharisees said heard that Jesus was making and baptizing more disciples than Jesus John, although Jesus himself did not baptize but only his disciples, he left Judea and departed again for Galilee, and he had to pass through Samaria. So he came to the town of Samaria called Satra, near the field that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there. So Jesus wearied and as he was from, the, from his journey, was sitting beside the well. It was about the sixth hour. 
While women from Samaria came to draw water, Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. For his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. The Samaritan women said to him, How is it that you, a Jew, ask for a drink from me, a woman of Samaria? But Jews have no dealing, dealings with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who, is, who it is that is saying to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw water with, and the well is deep. Where do you get that living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob? He gave us the well and the drink, drank from it himself, as did his sons and his, his stock, livestock. Jesus said to her, Everyone who drinks of the water of this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks of the water that I will give him will never be thirsty again. The water that I will give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so that I will not be thirsty or have to come here to draw water. Jesus said to her, Go, call your husband and come here. The woman answered him, I have no husband, Jesus said to her. You are right in saying, I have no husband, for you have had five husbands and the one you now have is not your husband. What you have said is true. The woman said to him, So, I perceive that you are a prophet. Our fathers worshipped on the mountain, but you say that in Jerusalem is the place where people are to worship. Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when neither on the mountain nor in Jerusalem will you worship the Father. You worship what you do not know, we worship what we know, for salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming, and is now here, when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such people to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know the Messiah is coming. He who is called Christ. When he comes, he will tell us all things. Jesus said to her, I who speak to you am he. Just then his disciples came back. They marveled that he was talking with the woman, but no one said, What do you seek? Or what? why are you take, talking with her? So the woman left her water jar, and went away into town and said to the people, Come, see a man who told me all that I have ever did. Can this be the Christ? They went out the town and were coming to him. Meanwhile, the disciples were urging him, say, saying, Rabbi, eat. But he said to them, I have food to eat that you do not know about. So the disciples said to one another, uh, another, Has anyone brought him something to eat? Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to accomplish his work. Do you not say, There are yet four months, then comes the harvest. Look, I tell you, Lift up your eyes and see that the fields are white for harvest. Already the one who reaps is receiving wages and gathering fruit for eternal life. So that sower and reaper may rejoice together. For here the saying holds true. One sows 
and another reaps. I said, I sent, I sent you to reap that for which you did not labor. Others have labored, and you have entered into their labor. Many Samaritans from the town believed in him because of the woman's testimony. He told me all that I have did. So when the Samaritans came to him, they asked him to stay with him, with them, and he stayed there two days. And many more believed because of his word. They said to the woman, "It is no longer because of what you said that we believe, for he have heard." For ourselves, and we know that this is indeed a savior of the world. After the two days, he departed for Galilee. For Jesus himself had testified that a prophet has no honor in his own hometown. So when he came to Galilee, the Galilean welcomed him, having seen all that he had done in Jerusalem at the feast. But they too had gone to the feast. So he came again to Cana in Galilee, where he had made the water wine. And at Capernaum there was an official whose son was ill. When this man heard that Jesus had come from from Judea to Galilee, he went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. So Jesus said to him, "Unless you see signs and wonders, you will not believe." The official said to him, "Sir, come down before my child dies." Jesus said to him, "Go, your son will live." The man believed the word that Jesus spoke to him, and went on his way. As he got, was going down, his servants. Met him and told him that his son was recovering. So he asked them the the hour when he began to get better, and they said to him, "Yesterday at the seventh hour the fever left him." The father knew that was the hour when Jesus had to, had said to him, "Your son will live," and he himself believed, and all his household. This was now the second sign that Jesus did when he had come from Judea to Galilee. Amen. Now we're gonna sharing about the application questions. The first question is the meaning of words since the beginning in John chapter one verse one is refers to Jesus. What does it mean that Jesus has been With God since the beginning, and that Jesus is the Word. Second, what kind of Jesus did you find in the first miracle that Jesus shown? And third, what aspects of Jesus have you found in the conversation between Nicodemus and Jesus? And the fourth, what aspects of Jesus have you found that Jesus met Samaritan women, and the conversation between Jesus? And Samaritan women, and who is the Samaritan woman we should be looking for? And the last question is:、uh, Please share in the comments below、uh, what you learned about Jesus through today's passage. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for that we are able to know you through the, your Word. You came to the earth as a Word in the beginning. And you came to the earth because God loved a word. Today we've encouraged to reach out the people who don't know you and live in this wicked world in the darkness without true hope. We pray that they hear the gospel and understand your true love, and humbly believe in Him, in Jesus, so they not perish and have eternal life. I pray in Jesus' name, Amen. See you tomorrow and invest Jesus, invest people.